Hello, hello. I'm Deshanda Burton and I'm a yoga teacher, breath guide, and bare soul yoga and wellness ambassador. Our mission is to create accessible, approachable, and equitable spaces to build a yoga and meditation practice to improve overall individual and community well being. On behalf of Bear Soul Yoga and Virginia Resiliency Week, I'd like to invite you to a restorative practice that can offer a very peaceful, relaxed way of moving the body comfortably into deep relaxation through breathing, gentle movement, and also mindfulness. So I invite you to grab supports. So grab maybe if you have blocks, if you have pillows, cushions, blankets that you can roll, um, roll on itself in order to create a cushion or to create um, a filler between your body parts and also the floor or the mat, okay? So we're going to meet on the mat and we're going to go into child's pose. So I'm going to grab my blocks here and with our poses throughout the practice, it'll be coupled with breathing. So we'll first just start into coming into being aware of our breath. And then we'll get into a little bit more effort and more, um, I would say more um, conscious of the way that we're breathing. And then we'll eventually come into a state of rest. So we'll go through several poses, holding poses, breathing within the poses, and then coming into actually relaxing into the poses. A lot of the times since we go so much that we really don't get much time or give much time and space to relaxing or being still, or being quiet, or just doing nothing. There is actually an art of doing that. But um, just I just wanted to give you just a heads up as to what to expect within this restorative practice. So it'll be some holding, some breathing, and if your mind wanders, that's totally fine. Just come back to the breath. Um, you'll have your supports so that we want to make this as comfortable, as cozy, as comforting, and as yummy as possible, okay? So we're going to come onto our mats, and with this pose, it is child's pose, so we can always have our block on hand or ready to be able to grab it. So the way that I come into child's pose, you can bring the knees about as, as wide as the mat, okay? Knees are as wide as the mat, you're bringing the feet together. So toes are together, bringing the hips down to the heels. So here, I'm actually gonna grab my block and I'm gonna put it a little ways ahead, about an arm's length ahead, or you can adjust it when you start to come down. So I'm going to walk my hands down, continue to walk my hands down until my forehead rests onto the block. So this is your typical child's pose. Now we can flip the palms so that we're actually releasing any desire to hold or to support because we are the ones who's going to be supported right now within this practice. So if you can release the forehead down towards the block, flipping the hands. And now we're actually going to come into awareness of our breath. So slowly start to notice the breath. Even notice how it comes into the body. Be curious to see if there's any body parts that actually respond to the breath coming into the body. So maybe the shoulders move or the chest may expand, the belly may fill with air, but just take a moment just to notice what happens within your body when you breathe. Notice 
now it, as we become a little bit more curious about the breath, notice the breath itself. Just notice maybe even the texture. Is it smooth? Is it choppy? Is it long? Is it shallow? Is it deep? Take this moment just to notice the breath itself. You can even notice the temperature about it as well. So maybe when it comes in the body, it's kind of cool. And then when it's released, it kind of like warms up. Let's start to notice the breath and also notice the body. Now, as we start to hone in on the breath, and there's some really great benefits of, about breathing consciously and being an active participant in our breath, that it actually accesses the nervous system. It turns off the stress response and allows us to access the rest digest all those feel-good hormones that come with it and connection, love, and all that good stuff. So now I just want you to slowly start to inhale through the nose. As you exhale, open the mouth, let it out with a sigh. Taking another breath in through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth, let it out. Last one, inhale through the nose and exhale, big release, let it out with a sigh. Even notice that when you sigh it out, maybe the body actually melts a little bit, softens a little bit more. Just take a moment in this state of resting here in child's pose. Even taking a moment just to notice your thoughts, what's coming up for you. Are there thoughts of things that you have to do, things that you've done, but allow ourselves to actually come back to the breath to bring us back to being present into your practice. Now we're just going to flip the hands, press down through the heels of the hands, lift the forehead, and then slowly rise forward. So we're just shifting forward. Now we're gonna release the block. With the hands, as you walk the hands so that they're right underneath the shoulders, we're going to tuck the toes, press down through the hands and the feet, lift the knees as totally fully supported this practice is. And now release the tops of the feet. And we're going to go right into puppy dog. So the hips are going to stay stacked right above the knees. We're going to start to walk the hands forward. So you're reaching, you're stretching, feeling that stretch within the shoulders, and then you can release the forehead, the chin, the nose. Anything that comes down towards the mat is totally fine. It's really not necessarily having to meet the mat, but just come into more of a surrendered state here. And now again, if you feel as though you need that support, go ahead and place it right underneath the forehead. And then now that the forehead is supported, then you can actually allow the shoulders kind of like to melt down towards the neck. Coming into a breath in through the nose. And out of the mouth with a sigh. Two more breaths in through the nose. So this is just a letting go breath. Exhale out the mouth to the side. One more breath in. 
and exhale. Now you can probably even notice that you are releasing a little bit more, that you're softening a little bit more with each exhale. And when you're ready, you can rise up, releasing the block if you used it. And we're just going to go right into thread the needle. So we're going to walk the hands back with that left hand planted. We're going to extend this right arm all the way up, twisting, looking up towards the ceiling. Now, as you exhale, the right arm is going to go underneath the left releasing the right side of the head, the right shoulder down towards the mat. Taking a breath here. Exhale. And then extend that left arm all the way up towards the top of the mat. So you have some choices. So you can release the palm down, fingers are flat, or you can press the fingertips down and lift the palm up. So you can actually feel an extra stretch along the under, uh, along the, the underarm of the left arm. And then stay with the breath, inhaling and exhaling. One more breath here. Now, as you exhale, release the palm if it was lifted, and then slide that right, the left hand back, pressing down with that left hand. And then we're just going to sweep the right arm all the way up for a final twist. And then as you exhale, release the hand back down where it was. And then you can do a little bit of movement. So we don't have to just stay all still in just one pose, but if your body needs to move to kind of shake it out, go ahead and give it to your body. So now I'm just going to reset coming back to table. Everything is still stacked, shoulders right above your wrist, same with the hips above the knees. Now the right hand is going to stay down. We're going to inhale and start to sweep this left arm all the way up lifting, twisting. Now, just to protect the neck, you don't necessarily have to look up to the ceiling. You can look to the side or even down towards the mat. Next breath in. Now, as you exhale, the left arm is going to go underneath the right. The left side of the head comes down, left shoulder comes down. Breathing here. Exhaling, maybe even try extending that right arm to the top of your mat. And you can play if you want the heel of the hand to rest or the palm to rest. Go ahead and take that option. If not, for an extra stretch, press the fingertips down, lifting the palm up so the fingers are tinted. And then take a few breaths here. Exhale. Let's get one more breath. Now as you exhale, release the palm. If it was raised, press the hand or bend that right elbow, slide the hand near the eyes, press to the hand. Now as you inhale, sweep the left arm all the way up, taking that final twist and exhale, release the hand down. So again, if you feel as though you need to move a little bit, maybe come into some circles in one direction, and then of course, doing it in the opposite direction, go ahead and take this time to do so. And then we're just going to set ourselves up for kneeling. So again, we're grabbing a block, Knees are still wide, and we're just going to rest that block right in between the legs so that we have a good, sturdy surface to sit on. 
So we're not having to sit right there on our heels. So we're sitting right there on a block. You can bring a pillow between your bottom and also the feet here, just so that you're supported, you're comfortable within the poses. So here we're just going to go right into now it's a little bit more technical with the breathing. So we're just going to rest the hands onto our thighs. So here we're just thinking of creating space for the breath. So of course, from the base of the spine all the way through the crown of the head, think that there's this string that's lengthening you, that's extending you all the way up so that you create this beautiful space for the breath to travel as you release the hands by or onto the thighs, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. And now if you can allow the eyes to close, I'll lead you through a balanced breath. And this is more so an even type of breath. So when you inhale, it's going to be for a count four, and then when you exhale, it's going to be for a count of four. So first, let's take a breath in together. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth with a sigh, let it out. Now inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. On your own, just for a few more times. Last breath in, remember it's on your count at your own pace. And slowly exhale. Now we're actually gonna bring the hands right there onto the belly because this is where we're going to focus that breath. So when we inhale, we, we want to allow the belly to expand with the breath. And then when we exhale, we want the belly to soften actually going towards the spine. So you can still take that inhale of four and exhale of four. So as you inhale, the belly rise for one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Last one together, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Good, now we're just going to pin that. So that's gonna be our breath that we're gonna use throughout the practice until we get into our deep relaxation. So we're just going to extend the arms out to the side. Extending the arms out to the side. And then we're just going to add movement with our breath. So the next inhale, start to sweep both arms all the way up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring the palms of the hands together, bending the elbows and bring the hands to the chest. So inhale, press the palms of the hands together, extend up to the ceiling. As you exhale, the arms out wide to the side and back down. So let's do it a few times. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Maybe even look up to the ceiling. As you exhale, palms touch as the elbows bend, draw it down to the chest, and then draw chin to chest. Inhale, extend the arms all the way up towards the ceiling, looking up. Exhale, release the arms out wide to the side, draw chin to chest. Just one more. Inhale, arms rise all the way up, looking up. Exhale, palms touch, elbows bend, draw chin to chest as the hands come down to the chest. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. And exhale, the arms out wide to the side, releasing the chin to the chest. 
Take another breath here. Exhale. Now we're going to go right into cat cow, but it's seated. So we're going to place the hands right there onto the thighs. The chin is drawn down towards the chest. Now, as you inhale, you're going to lift the chest. So the chest is going to move towards the top of the mat, opening up the chest. The shoulders are rolling together, lifting the head up to the ceiling. Now, as you exhale, it's like you're pressing the knees away, starting to round the back or arch the back and draw chin to chest. So inhale, chest rise drawing the shoulder blades together, looking up to the ceiling. Exhale as you round the back, drawing chin to chest. So let's do a few more, but incorporating your breath with your movement, making it nice and steady, very smooth with the movements, smooth with the breath. Exhale, round, chin to chest. Inhale, shoulder blades together, chest open, flipping up. Last one, exhale, round. Inhale. So this is your cat. And then exhale, round into cat, releasing the head, chin to chest. Breathe in. Exhale. So now we're just going to extend the arms out to the side. So this right arm is going to extend out to the right. And then as you inhale, send the left arm all the way up. And then exhale, right elbow bend. So that you come into a stretch along your left side body. That left arm is extended. Taking one more breath here. Exhale and release. So we're sending that left hand out to the left. Inhale, bringing the right arm all the way up and over. Now as you exhale, left elbow bend. So now you can feel this good stretch along your right side body, extending through the fingers here. Taking one more breath. Now as you exhale, releasing your right hand, and then just go ahead and roll the shoulders out. Good, roll the shoulders in the opposite direction. Good, now we've warmed up the top part of the body. We're going to remove our block and we're going to go right into more of the restored poses. So this is where we're going to get into our holds and then I'll introduce our relaxation breath. So I want you to grab a block or a pillow. So we're going to build ourselves up for this supported forward fold. So I have a few blocks here. And then what you're going to do, your support, you're going to bring it as close to your belly as possible. Legs are extended forward or straight. Feet are about hip width distance apart. You can actually feel the support here, right there, resting up against the belly. And then you're just going to walk the hands forward, releasing the head down. And then we're going to go right into the supported forward fold. So with the forward fold and then the poses that we'll actually explore, I want to introduce this relaxation breath. So when you inhale, it's going to be a count of four. And then when you exhale, it's going to be a count of eight. The reason that the exhale is a little bit longer is because we actually want to turn on that rest response and from the um, turn off the stress response and then come into rest and digest. So when we exhale, that is in longer exhales, that's how we actually tap into coming into more restful, allowing the heart rate to reduce, allowing the blood rate to actually circulate properly. So it opens up the air passages. It allows the circulation to circulate better. <laughs> circulate to circulate better. That's a word, but we're going to come into our supported forward fold. 
and then I'll count initially and then I'll give you space to actually rest within your forward fold. So as we inhale together first, take an exhale, release, let it empty all the way out. And now inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Your turn as you hold this supported forward fold. Notice with that exhale how the muscles tend to actually relax. And that's just you tapping into that rest response. Just gonna do one more round of holding. Inhale for your count of four. And then exhale to your count of eight. And when you're ready, even press to the hands, just slowly go about moving for the rest of the practice slowly go about moving as supported as possible. So remove your block. And now I'm going to come right there onto our backs. So you can bend the knees. Soles of the feet are still going to rest onto the mat, coming onto your back. So we're gonna go right into this supported bridge. So again, with your block, we have variations of heights with your block. So you can have it on the first, which is flat and wide. You can have it on the second height, which is medium and kind of still short, or you can take it onto the first height, which is the fullest. So that's as tall as it, as it gets. So we're going to come into this supported bridge. So the knees are bent and start to walk the feet until the fingers touch the heels. From here, you're gonna to press to the heels, press to the shoulders, even the back of the head. Start to lift the hips up just very slightly, enough to draw or bring your support right underneath the back. So that lower back is what is going to rest up against. So this is gonna be the flat part of the back. So here we're in this supported bridge. So again, the feet are flat, knees can be pressing together, pressing down to the heels, the hands are long beside you, palms are pressing down, fingertips are pressing down towards the mat, the neck is long, shoulders are pressing down as well. Now, if you'd like, you can lift the hips up a little bit higher and then come up a little bit higher onto that. So that now with the hips are lifted a little bit higher, then you can get a little bit more traction in the spine. So as we rest in this supported bridge, we're still going to count into our relaxation breath. So it'll be an inhale of four and then your exhale of eight. So inhale fully, exhale completely, and now inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Your turn, your count four on the inhale and eight on the exhale. 
And again, with each exhale, notice how the body tends to melt and soften, coming into more of a relaxed state, already being supported. So we don't even have to worry about that any longer because that's what the ground is for. Your actual supports or the bolsters or the cushion is there to support you. So just come into this state of receiving, receiving the benefits of breathing, receiving the benefits of resting, a bit still. But let's do one more together. Inhale for your count of four. And exhale your count of eight. And once you're done, and come down to the bottom of your count of eight. We're going to release this pose. So press down through the heels. Start to lift the hips. Now remove your block. And then release the hips all the way down. We're just going to draw the soles of the feet together. And then we're going into this reclined bound angle. So you can release the knees out to either side and then bring in supports. Again, we're filling in the gaps with these supports so that you actually just are able to rest. So you don't have to worry about holding yourself up for balancing. This is just a time just to receive and to actually come into more rest, being restored. So store, that means to put more back into to rebuild what it is that you've already stored up. So a lot of the times we're, we're depleted and a lot of things and we need to store our storehouse up again. So this is where this restoration comes from. So coming back to your relaxation breath. So it's your count four. Your count of eight. I'm just going to give you that space. To actually allow the body and the mind to come into rest. Now we'll get one more breath together. Inhale for four. Exhale for eight. And when you're done, even with the hands, just draw both knees in together. Not long whole bunch of work. And then we're going to release the blocks, bringing them off to the side. If you can extend both legs down. So this is where we're going to get right into just a little bit of a twist, setting ourselves up for relaxation. So if you can draw this right knee in, give it a squeeze with your left hand, put it to the outside of your right knee. Send your right knee over to your left side and we're going to bend your right arm. So it's gonna be like a cactus arm on your right side. So your right arm is bent, left hand is on your right knee and that's drawn over to your left and then take a look over your right shoulder. So here the shoulders are resting into the mat. Your knee is driving over towards the left and 
you are still coming back into your relaxation count. And even if the four to eight count is a little bit too much to think of, just exhale a little bit longer. Then you're in here. I want this to be as accessible as possible, as comfortable as possible, so that you can get the benefits of breathing. Gently moving, relaxing, and eventually coming into a deep breath. Now when you're ready, you can draw that right knee in. Give it a squeeze, even or rotate the ankle. Releasing that right leg. And let's do the other side, drawing the left knee in. Lift your right hand to the outside of that left knee. Send the left knee over to your right. Left elbow bends, looking over your left shoulder. Breathe here. See if you can melt a little bit more with each. Exhale. See if you can release more tension or tightness with each exhale. Just gonna get one more breath here. One more opportunity to release the desire to hold and to support and to receive support. Next inhale, slowly drawing that left knee in. Give it a squeeze, even rotate the ankle. So from here, we're going to bend both knees, bring two soles of the feet onto the mat, and then we're going to go right into legs up the wall. So if you like, you can extend the legs just straight up. This is a way that you can still get the benefits of legs up the wall if we're not really up the wall. But if you would like to take an opportunity to move to a wall, you can. But the legs up the wall, this is so good to be able to come into because it gives the heart a break. It allows the heart to rest. It allows the blood to be recirculated. It allows fluid to kind of like release and to kind of like drain from being on our feet all day. So this legs up the wall is such a great benefit to pre and or to do before resting. So with the legs up the wall or legs straight up, you can release the hands down by your side or you can flip the palms up, however you feel. But we're gonna go back into our relaxation breath or that inhale of a count and then exhale for a longer count. And then we'll do one more breath together. As you exhale, draw the knees in, give it a squeeze, even a rock from side to side, let the lower back get a little bit of a massage. And now you can extend the legs 
as wide or wider than the mat. So this is our final rest. So extend the legs wider than the mat. Let the feet just hang out to the side. Arms are resting by the side. Palms are up. So we are truly in this state and space of receiving. So thinking of all the things that our mind needs to receive in order to be restored. Think of the things that our heart needs to receive in order to be restored, even our body. What does our body need to receive in order to be restored? Now I'll invite you to do a practice of tensing and releasing. So a lot of the times that our body needs a how-to in order for it to get on board with doing a certain thing. So we're going to how to tense and how to release. So each body part, we're going to tense and tighten on the inhale, and then each body part, we're going to release and allow to soften on the exhale. So first, before we even go through the body, take a breath in, Exhale, open the mouth, let it out to the side. Now as you inhale, start to curl the toes, squeeze, even squeeze the calves, the knees, even the thighs, the bottom, hold it, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, release. Let it soften. Taking an inhale, squeeze the belly, the ribs, the chest, even draw the shoulders up to the ears, squeeze the arms, the hands, make it fist, hold it, squeeze, 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 and exhale, release. As you lift the right arm, right leg, squeeze the foot, squeeze the hand, squeeze the right bottom, Hold it, squeeze, 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 and exhale, release. Lift in the left arm, left leg, squeeze the hand, squeeze the feet, squeeze the left bottom, hold it, squeeze, 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 and exhale, release. And then lastly, lifting the head, the arms, the legs, squeeze the entire body from top to bottom, everything in between. Hold it, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Feel the tension, feel the warmth, feel even the heat of the squeeze of the tightness, and then exhale. Slowly release. Allow the coolness to overtake the body. Allow softness to flow through the body. Even allowing the weight of the body to melt right into the mat as you allow each part of you to come into rest. From the top of the head. Forehead, relax. Jaws, relax. Neck, relax. Shoulders, relax. Chest, relax. the arms, relax, the hands, relax, the fingers, relax, the 
you allow the entire body to come into the state of stillness, relaxation for the next few moments. invite you to some options so you can stay here resting and arriving back to your current space on your own time or you can come back to the breath slowly inhale and exhale and then we're just going to start to reawaken body just little by little so slowly start to wiggle the toes rotate the ankles wiggle the fingers rotate the wrists allow the head to go from left to right very gently now maybe find the movement in the elbows in the knees as well. As you start to draw the soles of the feet onto the mat, give the knees a hug, rocking from side to side. And then allow the knees to go to your right side, allowing the body to fully come on to the right side into this fetal position just for a few moments giving yourself an opportunity to listen to the body to absorb the benefit of your practice and to just be so on the next inhale you can press the hand down that you slowly start to press yourself up Coming into a comfortable seat. As we allow the eyes to close. And we're just going to seal our practice just with one good yummy breath. So eyes are closed. Just sitting up nice and tall. Create space for the breath. Release the hands by your side. And then as you inhale, slowly sweep the arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Allowing the body to sip in all the oxygen that it needs as you press the palms of the hands together. Slowly exhale the hands down to your chest and allow the chest to come forward to a bow. And very grateful for the work that you put in. Thank you all so much for your practice. I hope that this practice was very beneficial and it incorporated some rest, some breathing, some some um, tools that you can actually use and things that are actually on your body that you already have access to. That's the breath. That's being able to relax. That's being able to come into stillness. So I hope that this was a good benefit to your mind, to your body, to your, to your, to your heart as well. So thank you again. I'm DeShanda, and I hope that you all have a great rest of your day.